Hey guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. So I've already made some videos on how to set up uTorrent, I mean set up NordVPN for uTorrent and QubitTorrent, but um, I was reminded by Modern Disposal in the comment section that the setup is exactly the same for BitTorrent because BitTorrent and uTorrent uh, both use the same uh, open source software as a backend. So I thought it'd be uh, a good idea to kind of make a video on how to set up NordVPN in the actual BitTorrent software. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up BitTorrent and then open up our web browser and go to our server tools. So uh, let's go ahead and reset this real quick. When you first go to nordvpn.com slash servers slash tools, and um, I can put this in the description in the comment section, um, you'll be given an address. That address is actually good for uh, web browsing. So this would be good if you're just browsing the web and you want to connect to a server. But since we're using it for P2P or torrent downloads, personal person downloads, we need to adjust some preferences first. So we're going to choose our country. You can choose whichever country you happen to be from, of course. I'm choosing the United States. And we're going to choose a P2P server. And then we're going to choose SOX5 because that's what our uh, BitTorrent connection is going to be using. So we are given this connection, which is actually a really low server. Usually we get four numbers in the server name, so this is kind of interesting. It's a fun, it's it's not that great, but it's fun when it's like a, a lower number because there's so many servers now. Uh, so let's copy this address. This is our proxy address, and we'll go to BitTorrent. Now in BitTorrent, we're going to go to Options and go to Preferences, and you're going to enable your proxy server. You're going to choose a SOX5 proxy. We're going to paste that um, proxy address. The port is going to be 1080. Uh, we want to use the proxy for hostname lookups and for peer-to-peer -peer connections. Um, proxy privacy, you can decide if you want to disable these features or not. I leave them on. And then for authentication, it's going to be your NordVPN username and password. And NordVPN is not a sponsor, so if you do decide to get NordVPN, find some YouTuber who is sponsored by them, maybe use their code, hook them up with some cash or something, but um, they are not sponsoring this video and I'm not an affiliate, so I just like the program. So you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but the settings should work the same way for other um, torrents, I mean other VPNs as well. So let's hit OK and test this out. So we're going to add a new torrent and choose Ubuntu. And you should get a green checkbox on this bottom right. And yep, we can see that we're now connecting to our peers and we're using our proxy through NordVPN. So it's really easy to set this up. Uh, BitTorrent has been a little bit iffy with me here and there with proxies, but um, if it gives you any errors, just close it out, open it up again, and it should load the proper settings. Uh, but that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.